The basis of wireless internet technology is much like traditional radio. In fact, the first wireless data signal was developed in 1971 using ham radio equipment. All radio works in a similar way. When you pass an electric current through an antenna, the electrons move in a pattern. This generates an electromagnetic wave which is emitted from the antenna. If that wave hits a similar antenna, it will excite the electrons there in the same pattern and generate a similar but weaker electric current. You've just transmitted and received a radio signal. By varying the signal which is sent, it becomes possible for those waves to contain information which can be decoded at the other end. AM radio, for example, does this in a very simple way by modulating the amplitude of the wave dependent on the information being transmitted. Wi-Fi uses a digital signal with a much more complex pattern of modulation, including AM, phase modulation and other encodings to transmit data in the form of ones and zeros, binary code. Your router is a tiny computer which plugs into the internet and converts an electrical signal into a digital signal that is transmitted from an antenna as microwave radiation. Your computer also contains an antenna to receive the signal, which it then decodes, as well as a transmitter to send data back to the router. Early Wi-Fi used 2.4 GHz microwaves, while more recent versions use 5 GHz. New methods of encoding data are being developed all the time, which is why newer equipment may perform differently to older versions. Their relatively high frequency means these microwaves can contain a lot of data, but they don't travel through matter very well. The molecules in your wall can disrupt or stop the signal causing interference. With enough walls or dense materials, you will lose the signal completely. This is why you'll get a stronger Wi-Fi signal if your computer has line of sight to your router. If you hide the router away in a cupboard, the signal will suffer.